Alright, so in Enshrouded, I did not break the game. So I'm really curious with how exactly he ended up breaking the game. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out Enshrouded today. And yes, I see this message right here. The <laughs> GPU driver is That's outdated. That's what it said Please to me update too. for an ideal game experience. Yeah, we could do that. Or I could just hit play. <laughs> That's what it oh did boy, to me too. It called time. me Which out so hard. Which one of so these hard. short kings and queens do we want to play as? We're going to start with this guy because I want to keep the dream alive that we can look this nice. good when we're his age. Now, let's see. Which one of these nice. hairstyles screams I agree. midlife crisis the hardest? I'm tempted to go with this one, oh, or God. even maybe this one. But I think we all know oh, we're going God. with this one. That's not even midlife crisis. That's just that's just good. badass. And unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have that many color options. So I guess pure white it is. And if you're gonna give us beard options, of course I'm gonna choose the kind of overgrown really? gross mustache. <laughs> Who wants to see that top lip? I don't. Oh, and for their character name, gross. Lord Mustache Von that is Suffering. Gross. Oh, that doesn't fit. Lord Mustache it is. So our journey Lord begins mustache. with us waking up in this weird little chamber, at which point we can gleefully escape. And here we are on Planet Enshrouded. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's Let's not actually go. what it's called. It's just what I'm gonna call it. See, this Planet guy over here, they wanted huh? to learn the real lore of this game. Like what the world name is. And the lore was just too deep. And no thank you. We're already too old. <laughs> We're not gonna let that happen to us. Or our abs. Ugh, Hi, Mr. Alex. Welcome in. See, what did I tell you? It's a bunch of lore. Quick, run. And run as fast as you can. Don't <laughs> run let anything from stop the lore. Oh. Oh, except maybe death. Well, I guess now we get to see what happens when you die. Oh, okay, we just come back to life. Well, thank goodness for that. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, to welcome life. to the world of Enshrouded. A game where I don't learn my lesson the first time and we see if we can jump down here without dying. But I feel like if we hit wow. this just right, we can land on like the side of a slope or something and survive. Oh, or not. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty sure what the game how, wants how me many to do times? is go into that cave there and then pop out right there. How many uh, yeah, times? See, there you go. Did you see that little thing fly over there and light up that lantern? <laughs> pretty sure that's the tutorial telling me this is the right way to go, which means we won't be doing that at all. Oh Instead, my God. we're going to try and see if we can find an alternate He's way He's one around. of those like, people that doesn't follow over tutorials. Here, hop on over here to this little spot and then jump on this. Ow. And then we'll just slide on down this and we're home free. We did it. There we go. Made it down without Damn. taking that structure over there. And look at that. I've made some friends. <laughs> so I'm sure if I just <laughs> keep running, everything's going to turn out. Okay. Oh my Sean. goodness. And it has. They've left me behind. Okay. So I am in a bit first. of pain. You see yeah. there's like a camp here? We got to do something like that. I mean, not just like this. This isn't our camp, nor do I want it to be. I mean, after all, I was going to steal their things, but ugh, it's more lore that it wants me to read. <laughs> it's my personal kryptonite. Quick, run from it as fast as we can. Anyways, we can see this used to be what looks like a town, which is fine by me because they're... You know, the worst part is that... Devs try so hard to make you read lore, but yet none of them actually read it to you while you're just exploring and doing stuff. I don't know why they don't do that. They're not gonna need these wood supplies anymore, and I certainly will. Not to mention these barrels that are just in my way, and apparently are hiding <laughs> the most sacred of treasures. Sure. <laughs> Wait, I did not know you could punch those! I always use my axe! What the heck? I feel cheated! Earning butter. Just kidding, that's not for us. Take that! Alright, let's see what this <laughs> treasure chest has for us. Oh, good. Items for killing. Anyway, we're just gonna run around and ransack this Shub. place. And I could be concerned that there's a fire still lit, indicating that there's probably somebody still around. But why would I worry when I can just punch the campfire to death? Oh, wow, and nature immediately reasserted itself. And no Damn. more, I won't read you. But I will break the <laughs> table you're on. I can't break this, can I? <laughs> Oh, well, there you so go. Now that we've things. broken down everything not nailed down, what the heck is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn. It turns out there's some bad guys in this game that really oh. want a piece of us. That's okay, we can punch them too. Yeah. And that's when I noticed that weird cloud we walked into. I think that means we're oh. in the shroud, or the enshrouded, or it's enshrouded, or I'm enshrouded. <laughs> Whatever, something is enshrouded, that's what matters something most. And it looks like this is where some of the bad guys I don't know what happens when the timer like expires. A strange kind of energy. I'm gonna be honest, I still now, haven't found that out. Refined. And that's great and all, but I'd rather refine this right now. A rusty short sword. Anyway, as you can uh, see, we can only spend a certain amount of time in the shroud. Leave and it's even now! Kind enough to remind us to leave. But of course, we're not going to. And instead, oh, we're just going to wait and see what happens. I'm going to find out what happens. happens. 
Wow, you instantly oh, yeah, just died. There you go. It's the shroud. What and the it's heck? Consumed us. Your shroud protection depleted. <laughs> Remember to let it recover outside of the shroud. I'm sorry what that I heck? wasn't paying close enough attention to my shroud refractory period. So yeah, it sounds like we should definitely limit okay. our time in the shroud. Although something's telling me that at some points we'll have to go through it. Call it a hunch. Anyway, the next order <laughs> Call of business it a is hunch, we need to find a nice place to set up our base. I need to I play I more in shrouded. Spot. I really like this game. Somewhere. So I know I just said the thing about not going through the shroud, but we're gonna go through the shroud. After all, we've got <laughs> five minutes, and all I need to do is just run by the bad guys. And just like that, we're through the shroud. Yay. And look at all this beautiful space for setting up a base. I don't know about you, but this nice shaded area seems good to me. As soon as we clear out some oh. of the riffraff, like this wolf that appears to be barking at a tree. Well, so be well, it. Sorry, this is my what land would you now. Do if you're I'm a sure wolf. it understands. Yeah, that's what the else spirit. do you Thank do to you your blessing. dominance? Okay, so in order to get started, we need to go to <laughs> I did not know that the cross grows like that. Welcome, Psycon. <laughs> That is so funny. Crafting. Here's the basic setup. We need these How essentials. How about the moon? There's no moon altar, right now. And it's construction daytime. Hammer. And you'll notice they're all highlighted red. Because if we click on them... Oh, but of course, we don't have the required stone. Or in the case of this workbench, we need wood uh. logs and string. Well, we know what it's time for then. The collectathon. Give me this for twigs and plant fiber. Nice. Which, after grabbing enough Let's of go. it, allows us to make string out of the plant fiber. Great. Yay. And the resource collection continues. Stone, of course, we can get out of regular stone like this after punching it a bunch and the stone just kind of falls right off it what a dude i never tried punching these things I am i weird that i never tried punching these things <laughs> what is wrong with them deal oh boy and a recipe unlocked strike that multiple recipes unlocked like the ability to build an axe which of course is for cutting oh. trees or a pickaxe which is used for cutting rocks yeah so why would you do that when you punch pickaxe. get to mining there that's the good stuff oh and what a curious border we have now what does this do oh is this doing what i oh. think it's doing am i carving into the ground oh he I learned am carving into the ground is he gonna go <laughs> Is he gonna go and make a, a mole life? Is he gonna become a mole? Well, this is just great. Oh boy, <laughs> do I love me some terraforming. Any game that Aww. allows this really has my needs in mind. But let's not get too excited. We're not gonna tear up the entire earth just yet. Because not only do we <laughs> need stone, yet. but we have to chop all these trees down first. Well, have to is probably an overstatement. But there's always something a little satisfying about a little deforestation. And before you there know is. it, this there looks is. like this. See, that's Jesus, much better. What the heck? All this detail we didn't even know was here. You know, like this rock we can see better, oh. and this little cliff side. Oh, and also this giant Jesus thing over Christ. here. Who could have known that was just sitting there hiding from us? Anyway, with all of that Why? out of the way, it's time to build our this base. This is so, so first much deforestation. First is we need to build that flame altar. Because as the description says, that's what lets us mark our home. So after a quick crafting of that, let's see, where are we going to place this thing? Now, it doesn't want to let me shove this inside <laughs> this hole, but something tells me it's more about me needing to clear space for it. So let's even out the space a little ah, bit. Ah, yes. Okay, and Loosen there we go. the hole I a sure bit hope more. This is enough. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, yeah, there we go. Go. Fits like a glove. And now the game wants me to commune with the flame. As you do. Uh, yeah, let me break this down for that's you. What he blah, said, blah, all right. story. Blah, blah, ancient vaults. Blah, blah, one beckons. Blah, blah, space bar. Oh, thank God it added a marker to my map. I love not having to remember anything. I did uh, notice something kind of silly, though. If you exit out of the game and then load back in, well, wouldn't you know it? All of the trees are back. Wow, how lucky am oh, I? Wow. A whole forest to cut down again. Well, now that has me wondering something. If I just go back over here and chop down one of these trees, and then I go back into the menu, and I go over to the thing. Seriously? And then I hit play again, and then we load back into the game. Oh, uh, yes, there it is. Our magical tree friend is back. Oh, I think I know what oh, might be damn. happening here. So if we switch to our pickaxe, this border That's appears an interesting on the ground, exploit. which as we know from placing our flame thingy, that this border <laughs> indicates the edge of our base. So I'm willing to bet if we make a hole right here, <laughs> That's and actually we really make a funny. hole right here, I'm going to assume that when we reload our game, one of these is going to be here and one isn't. Okay, well, there you go. Mystery solved. It I looks see. Like the only stuff with permanence is the stuff inside of our borders. So the wait, more you know. something like this? Where some of it's inside, but some of it isn't. Let's just hammer the whole <laughs> thing down and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. A little more like that. It definitely isn't like oh a gross my God. eyesore now. Anyway, let's reload and see what happens. Oh, well, there you go. And also, it looks like we can see the exact place where our base starts and stops. We can also see that there's like a ceiling <laughs> above us. So it doesn't look like we can actually go that high in the air. Or presumably that low. I mean, I assume. We're about to find out. Oh. And find the lower limits of our base. Damn. Yep, there's the line. That's how far down we can go. Which goes down pretty far, by the way. How far, you might wonder? Oh, pretty far. What See, the there's heck? the fire thingy. And how? here's the hollowed out hut. How much did he... Dude, he has 
has way too much time and patience to do this. What the heck? Us ...of the lower limits of our base. Now, I didn't dig it all up, but you can see that the boundaries are ever-present. Oh. But I gotta hand it to our little flame thingy. It does certainly give us a lot of space to work oh with. Oh my god. you're probably god. wondering, how do we get back to the flame altar? Well, that's easy. We just take the Death Express over to it. <laughs> Ta-da! Easy peasy. And now, if we ever have to do some communing, this is the way we can do it. Which I'm sure we will be doing uh, from time do you... to time. Because I see options like upgrading the altar and extending its building he go... range. Uh, as well as strengthening it. the flame. Which gives us fun benefits, like how many altars we can have active, as well as, I guess, different kinds of shrouds huh? we can go through, how long we can spend in the shroud, and then whatever this fourth thing is. I'm already <laughs> tired of reading. And then all we have to do is find this random stuff. And then when we're done being intimate with the flame, you might next wonder, how do we get down? Yeah. Also easy. Oh, wait, maybe not so easy. Well, surely Did there's a spot break? nearby that we can hit that won't kill us. Oh Somewhere. my god. Okay, plan B. First, we're gonna access the altar, and then we're gonna extinguish this flame. Extinguishing the flame will reset oh, the currently protected god. area after some time. He or locks, with the next he start of the game. That's himself. the plan. And now we'll have ourselves another leap of faith of a certain kind. Okay, now we're back <laughs> to the beginning. And now all we need to do is just run all the way back to where we were. It couldn't this be more terrible. simple. After all, it's just a haunted jaunt away. Okay, and here we are again. Oh, and would you look at that? Nature is trying to reassert itself. Oh, I don't know why I thought the God. flame altar would still be there in the middle, but whatever. It's not like we can't just place another one somewhere. In fact, let's make it weird. For now, we'll just put one right here, which of course is gonna alter the boundaries of our base now, which only extends that <laughs> far. Actually, you know what? I bet we can make this work. I bet we can get it back into the center there. Jesus All we're gonna need Christ. now is our construction hammer. It can only be used within the range of a flame altar. Works for me. Okay, now that we have our wild glowing I, hammer, it's yeah, time to go into our wild no glowing build mode. What? Look at all this fun I, stuff we can build. I don't know Walls what to say to this. I'm just like, what the heck? Whatever. Although right now Why? I'm just interested in this. Making a single wall block. Which, let us just go ahead and place one right here. <laughs> he puts more effort into making grotesque weird bases than some people do in making their base in this game <laughs> oh missing materials craft blocks at the workbench <laughs> okay if you say so we'll go ahead and do that i guess which let's see where can we place this that is the most weird looking maybe up against this rock will do <laughs> let's see oh yeah there see, we go see, that's, that's exactly what I mean. how we want our workbench now we can make blocks like that's these what rough I mean. stone blocks so let's go ahead and craft some okay much better here we go okay so we placed one and we're gonna place another and then we're gonna jump on this and place another and another actually wait what am i doing that's exactly what this other other stuff is for. I was gonna let's say, see, isn't that like a stair really and stuff? Yeah, here we go. This terrain tool for making a little puck. Excellent. And I can just put this anywhere Wait, I want. Wait, seriously? You better. can put Look it anywhere? Now I can just jump on this and then make another one. Are you one kidding and me? Just keep doing this all the way to the center. Just gotta expand the area a little bit more. There we go. Flame altar number two. <laughs> oh, ready to go. God. Now we can go back over here to the first one and disable it. Give it a quick extinguish. Stare straight into its eyes until it evaporates right in front of you. And now that we've got that that squared away, let's get to making our base. <laughs> no, no, he didn't die for nothing. He died for science. Because <laughs> he didn't have the materials or the construction stuff to make this before. Down there in all that beauty. Of course, we're older and wiser now. And we know if we just jump off, this... we'll die. Good thing we can make crappy stairs to take care of this. Let's see, we'll take <laughs> this and just rotate it like that and shove it into the earth and then take another one and do the same. Whoop. Ah, well, it still works. Oh That's all that matters. Oh my god. So let's place another one and another one. This is one, unhinged. And so on and so forth. This what is a so masterclass bad. of architecture. That kind of looks like a waffle. Is it wrong that I want waffles now? Sure. And now I'm hungry for waffles for <sighs> some reason. Okay, so now that we're down here, let's get the basics set up. And for that, we're going to start with a workbench, which we're going to place in a weird way just like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, actually? I why stick with one? After all, it looks like I'm going to be using this thing quite a bit. <laughs> so why not build a couple more of these so I never have to go far back? <laughs> oh, access my one. God. Let's see one right there. Yeah, here we go. A little more like this. Finally, <laughs> I won't have to... Is he trying to make a junkyard? I think he's succeeding in making a junkyard. <laughs> it's the sea! Oh my god! <laughs> That's vicious.
to go far to use a workbench. There's always gonna be one conveniently in my grasp. And now that we got that little problem out of the way, let's go ahead and access literally any of these. Now let's see what other kinds of stuff we can make. Ooh, beds, fireplaces, illumination, <laughs> doors. We love those. Yes, please give we me a couple doors. of these. We love doors. Ooh, and building those unlocked new recipes. Now we can do stuff like bowls and cups. <laughs> I see we can really decorate our home or whatever we want to call this. I'm just glad we have options. I'm gonna oh, call it the... A fence around everything. Thing, right? The we don't want trash to place. Keep falling into our home yeah. chasm, do we? Oh, what a phenomenal job I'm already doing. Everything is already <laughs> so even and lovely. Look, it's all for show anyway. Who cares? Uh oh, we okay. can't actually build over there. Oh, well, I guess. People with OCD dying inside, they're like, <laughs> what do you mean? Who cares? <laughs> this side just doesn't get a fence. And actually, neither does this side. That's fine. The only thing that's actually going to matter is this. The front door. Ah, look at that. Home sweet home. Just a the hop, junkyard, skip, and a stumble yeah. down here, and we're back into the world of desks. And what home is complete without a nice, comfy, crude mattress? <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I love to be sleeping on a mattress on a near 45 degree incline. Sleeping on the downhill slopes Damn. where all the blood rushes to my head. See, look at this. If this isn't comfort, I don't know what is. That may, it reminds me of sleeping on a hill, just like, you know, on your back, looking at the stars, except, uh, I guess in reverse. Okay, but enough screwing around. We clearly have a mission to do called finding the sleeping survivor, which I'm assuming is this chesty fellow right here. Aww. Find the sleeping survivor marked on your map. You will have to venture through the shroud. Okay, so let's see. This is us, and I guess this is where we need to go. No problem. I'm sure we're ready. Oh, and can't forget to lock up. <laughs> Bye, home. We'll see you soon. And now to let my brain go on full <laughs> autopilot until we get to the marker. Completely the ignoring every landmark that's probably interesting. And instead, we're just going to walk right into this, which I'm sure is very friendly. Pardon me, everybody. Coming through. Oh my okay, god, he just hey, walks guys, past just everyone. Second? Okay, well, if you won't do that, I'm just gonna lead you back to my base. Let's go. That's the spirit. Come this way. Oh now just follow god. me into the woods. Hold on, I gotta unlock the door Are real you quick. Come kidding on in. Me? My home is your home. Okay, it looks like I got them to fall down, and now they're all surprisingly docile, just staring at the walls me? over here. Okay, where was I? Ah, how nice it is to come in here and be able to wander around completely unhindered. Okay, I, I had tactical fights with these guys and he's just like, here doggy, come for a walk. <laughs> come here, little dog. <laughs> I'm like, ain't no way that worked, man. Okay, let's see, what do we got? Oh God, more reading. Can I just not do that? Well, the piece of paper's gone, so let's go uh -huh. with yes. And I tried to get rid of the rest of the evidence, but it doesn't seem to want to break. Something tells me we need to go to the big glowy thingy. Hello, what do we have Jesus here? Jesus Christ. Hello? Hello? No, I guess we did it. You retrieved a survivor. <laughs> Place them in your home with a summoning staff. Well, that was easy. Okay, and back here at the homestead, I guess we need to make like a summoning wand or something. Oh, and how nice. The bad guys showed themselves out. Oh, there it is. Just oh, sitting there waiting for me. Did they well, really despawn on it. top? I wish every wand in every game looked kind of like a Jesus spaceship. Christ. Okay, let's see. How do we use this thing? Tab to ready the summoning staff. Oh, I see we get to actually just summon them. Well, had I known we were going to have guests, I would have cleaned up a little bit. Don't worry, <laughs> buddy. We'll make up. you a nice little room. Although I like that until I do. I just have an entire man on my quick bar. Okay, so let's just big glowy thingy. Hello, what do Wait, we have wh here? What happened? Hello? Hello? <laughs> to the big glow. And I tried to get Hello. You were homestead. Oh, there that was it is. Weird. Just skip. Okay, let's see. How do we use? We're gonna have guests. I would have cleaned up a little bit. Don't worry, buddy. We'll make you a nice little room. Although I like that until I do. I just have an oh. entire man on my quick bar. Okay, so let's just go yes, ahead and pick up this table. He has Don't an entire worry, man on his quick bar. By hand. Yeah, there we go. A nice little <laughs> room that is definitely not just a nice little prison. Okay, buddy, you ready for your new home? Your palace of misery and suffering. Why? Here you go. Why are we putting him well, in a prison? Seems nice. Whoa, whoa. What is this? I didn't bring you back here to talk to me and i don't think i need <laughs> you to help me prepare i mean look at me and my no armor or clothes all right fine let's see what he has to say you're Except weak for the part kid where i actually can't talk to him well i forgot to make myself a door he's so getting assaulted right now. hello where were we yeah, I already got hey. that part. Okay, so I guess this opens up new crafting menus. We can do stuff like make a forge to open up even more Honestly, stuff. Honestly, I did not expect him to make a prison cell that's very comfy. I was expecting something worse, like, I don't know, digging an entire hole under him or putting him on 
on one cube worth of land with nothing around him so that if he moves, he dies. <laughs> yeah, there's resources and new options for other stuff. But obviously, I'm most excited about these dishes. Finally, I can feel domesticated with all metal interior designing. <laughs> well, I'm so glad I rescued you. Hope you're comfortable because I'm covering you back up. I'll leave one square you open so you can up. look at me pathetically. Okay, let's go out and... Oh, you got more to say? What do you want now? I think it's about time you face your fears and clear the shroud out of one of them elixir wells. What did I just say? about conversing with me. All right, fine, hold on. Let me get back in there so I can talk to you. I'm oh, with a cage full of torches? The again, so I'm just gonna make a thing out of these things. See, this okay, is here, looking here more interesting. Again. What do you want? Okay, he really likes to Wait, chat, did he so I'll just, just give you the highlights. Lock CP himself in well, with that? Raise the root, set this evil ablaze. I'm counting on you. I'm so sorry you thought that was a good idea. Thanks for your TED talk. I'll be leaving now. Okay, so <laughs> once again, this is us right here. And it looks like it wants us to go to this area right here. <laughs> to this thing called the elixir well. Well, sounds good to me. I feel like we're ready for this adventure. No oh, armor, yeah. no weapons, no problem. And this looks like it's gonna be fun. Unsurprisingly, it's down there in the shroud. But before we do, I'm kind of curious to something. Can I break these things? I don't know what other purpose they serve. Surely if I hit it enough, Do they even will have happen, a right? purpose? Oh, well, <laughs> there you go. I'm sure it was here for thousands of years, but, well, we happened. Anyway, off to adventure. <laughs> once again, we gotta make sure to be quick about it because we have a limited <laughs> amount of time in the shroud. Stopping, of course, to waste our time and be... <laughs> Note to self, don't ever let Josh in a, in a historical place full of like really valuable old stuff that you preserved for centuries. Eat up these things. Anyway, <laughs> onward to the elixir well. Hi there, pardon me. Yeah, just coming through. Oh, and look. Wait, I don't know why this makes me think of him as a cat. You know, like... You have a cat and there's like a, a vase or like a glass and, and, and he's just like pawing it off the desk. That's the vibe that I'm getting. <laughs> Look, just my luck. There's a return <laughs> beacon here, which not only replenished our shroud timer thingy, but if we die, it'll respawn us there. Don't follow me, okay, bad guys? Okay, thank you. I'm glad we have an agreement. Oh my goodness, this looks like so mysterious. Oh, and you know what? Something tells me that is important. <laughs> what the hell was that? You said you wouldn't follow me. That'll teach you, I guess. Hello? Hello? Who's this guy just chilling out over here? Oh, crap. Oh, I see he has a name. It's Fell Thunder Brute. What a stud. So this guy clearly wants to kill us. Can't imagine Is why. Is he coming out of the shroud? Seriously? So here's what I'm learning. You see the ground we're on right now? Damn. If I try to hit it with our pickaxe, it doesn't appear to do anything. But over here, this looks to be dirt. And this I can't oh, affect. Oh my god. I'm sure you god. can see where this is going, right? I bet we don't have to deal with this guy at all if he can't find us. So let's see if we can get to that thing by just going under him. We are still, of course, gonna have to contend with this timer here. But that's okay. <laughs> we just die. And then we just reappear back up here and everything is just fine. And resume what we were doing. <laughs> okay, where were we? Okay, I think we're getting closer. I got a good feeling about this. Oh, oh yeah, there God. it is. Still not close enough, though. It's right there. And he's... Oh, no. It's not an exact science, but it's close <laughs> enough. Okay, fingers crossed. You know what I said? He's gonna become a mole. He's actually a mole. This feels much better. Oh yeah, there it is. Right above us. <laughs> now let's see if we can get to it without being detected. And we'll just break a little space right underneath it. And then sneak down in here. Dinky uh -oh, dinky hole. Mad. Mr. Thunderbrute is up there trying to hit me. And I keep seeing the thing above me shaking like jello every time he hits it. Which <laughs> makes me wonder. Is he doing damage to the thing he's trying to protect? I guess we could just wait this out and see. Maybe he'll take care of this problem for me. Okay, I've been watching him wail on this thing for a while now. And I think it's probably the case that he's not doing any damage. That's fine. <laughs> And we'll just do the hard work for him. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be great and isn't gonna take any time. Ow! By that I mean I gotta be really careful. Oh, thank you for the comfortable deathbed. Damn. Okay, where was I? And hit again and again. Finally found an angle where he's not gonna attack me. And give it a final <laughs> whack. Oh my and god! Well, Did he just punch that, that oh, entire thing? Okay, well thanks. I'll be leaving now. No, don't worry. I'll show myself out. Well, that Dude. was easy. I sure hope all of our battles are just that harrowing. Hey, you know, when I started Enshrouded, I was like, man, this is an actual pretty difficult game without items and uh, armor and weapons. I stand corrected.
<laughs> Jail guy, I'm back. And then he says to me, stop your procrastinating. Climb that ancient spire in the distance to reveal I important landmarks. Corrected. What do you mean, this thing? Well, okay. Let's see who we got. What do you think we're gonna find inside? Amazing uh, riches? Or, oh, just a teleport pad. Okay, well, beam me up. Where are we going? Beam me uh -oh, up, Scotty. I sense puzzles. And that's exactly what it is. Puzzles. Except they usually take this time to find all the antiques and break them. Look, if they didn't want me to break all the nice stuff, they shouldn't have uh, to left be fair, it lying around. I broke Ooh, stuff, too, because they give you loot. I'm sure is filled with amazing riches, like this wand that I'm not gonna take. Why take the items when we have the best treasure of them all? Destroying uh, something with my fists. Yeah. No. And it looks like this is the loot we're left with. Metal scraps. That's so much better than a weapon I can actually no. use. And then the rest of this is like, ugh, this puzzles. You see this glowing thing up here? Back at a workbench, we could craft a grappling hook and take care of this. But that feels like way too that much work. Too much. I have a different idea in mind for how we can tackle don't, this. I'm kind of curious if we can just chest. build our way up to the top. So first things first, can I put a flame altar around here? And it would appear that if we get too close to this thing, it tells us we cannot. How about a little farther away? <laughs> Okay, there we go. I guess this is as close as we can build it. And now we've got some borders to where we can technically build. But just like the altar, we can't build any closer to the tower or else it gives us this message. That's fine. We can work with that. Because we after all, we have a little that. thing called stairs. So here we go. And let's see how high we can go with... Oh, wow. The game already stopped me. It's probably because I hit the edge of where I can build. <laughs> Good thing we can just rotate and keep going. And two <laughs> little stairways later, we're at the top of our boundary. So let's head back down to this thing and commute with the what's it called. And this is when we're finally going to upgrade our altar, which will double our building range. But in order to do that, we need a shroud core. And I've come to realize I know just where to get one. Remember this guy? Yep, turns out we actually have to kill him. Which, don't worry, that shouldn't be too hard. I'm pretty sure all we need to do is get him stuck on something. And then he should be nice and trapped. Are Let's you see. kidding me? Okay, how are you looking, buddy? Can you get out of that? Oh, no, too bad. Guess we'll just have to punch you. I didn't like that at all, did he? And then after 10 million years of a completely fair fight, well, that is the end of them. <laughs> wow, all of that hulking guy turned dude. into this tiny pile of bones. Well, who am I to judge? And there we go. One shroud oh. core, as well as his head for some reason. So we'll take those two things and that's it. Now yes. we can go back over here and upgrade the altar. And there we go. And we can even upgrade it again if we want to. We just need to upgrade the flame to level two and get more shroud cores. Now five oh. might seem like a lot, but I already have a solution for this. Turns out if you restart your game look what comes back not just this really thing, but the source of being able he to get another back? core anytime we want we just gotta punch him and that's no problem for us and that's what Damn. makes it possible for us to get Ta -da, another shroud core and that's how i've been able to get a whole <laughs> lot of cores and now to strengthen the flame because this if we upgrade guy. this we can put down four altars instead of two and all of this stuff should be pretty <laughs> easy to get except for this spark thing but luckily i figured out where to get one of those two because if we're lucky this thing will talk to us and bestow upon us some amazing knowledge. Sparks lie scattered <laughs> around the world in flame sanctums and flame shrines. And then they give me the location of one. All I have go from no... here all the way down to here. Sounds I, easy. I, I Let's go. I have no okay, words for this. we're here. He, he's Let's just see. punching. What do we got? He's Stand just fast. one punch, it looks man. Like we have enemies. Yeah, he's just and punching that, his I mean way for sure. Literacy. Be gone with thee. Anyway, the thing we're looking for is in here. We've recovered one spark. And with that, we're ready to go. Come here, altar. And with one little strengthening, we can place four Yay. altars at once. And that's as far as we're going to take the flame level for now. Because one of the items we need is this scavenger matron head, which I'm not really sure where to get. Meanwhile, over here in Upgrade Altar, now one we can upgrade this altar all the way to level true. 3. That's triple the building area. Now we have so much extra room to play in, but eventually we're still going to hit as high as we can go. But that's where those extra altars are going to come in handy. Because now we can just <laughs> place another altar and then upgrade this altar as well. Good thing oh we have so God. many shroud cores. And now this one also has a huge building area. Okay. Okay, where were we? Going higher and higher, I that's see. what. And here's the great thing. When we reach the top again, like we have here, like, yeah, we're gonna place another altar, but we can start recycling them a little bit. So let's just oh go down here God. and extinguish this one. And now that this one is freed up, we can just head all the way back up and reuse it up here. And this is pretty much how it goes. And then before you know I it, have we've no... built something beautiful. Honestly, probably a little too high. I Seeing as no how the tower we're this. trying to reach is all the way down there now. And that's not the only thing. We can see pretty much everything from up here. Who needs a map when you can scope? 
look at all the locations with your own eyes. Anyway, we still have one last dilemma, which is there's no way that we can jump Apparently and reach you can that. build don't worry, really we have high a solution in this for game. that too, which is this thing right here. The glider can be used to travel great distances in an instant. Good, just what we need. And now there's nothing we fear. That is as soon as we deploy it, which we're going to do right now. Oh my goodness, look at us go. The good news is the, we don't look silly at squirrel. all. But even if we dive bomb, it's going to save us from dying. Somehow we survive that instead of shattering our vertebrae. What I mean to say is this should be plenty for us to get up to that tower. So here goes nothing. Okay, easy, do, easy. Do, do, okay, do. now it's time to dive bomb right into it. Yeehaw, here we come. Uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, well, something tells me they didn't expect people to come all the way up here. Something no, about the I don't whole thing think having so. no collision. And look how beautiful all my garbage <laughs> looks. What a nice sword. Okay, let's see if we can actually just get down one step further, which I think is right here. And we can come right up here and commune with another flame. Oh, oh boy. God. Oh, I see. These open up fast travel points for us. And also reveal stuff, I guess. Well, that's convenient. Now we got... You know, I haven't tested games in ages. And, um, I don't miss it, but somehow this was very, very, very amusing to just notice not doing anything the way you're meant to. Ah. Uh got question marks all over the place. That's great. Well, we have our own way of surveying the land. Like, I don't yeah, understand why, why we can't just use this system for everything. Like, <laughs> why, why would you need to play only up when you can make your own and then drop <laughs> Like, see that thing back there? Why walk when we can just build our way over there? Not even particularly <laughs> nice looking either. We just need to get there. We don't need it to look pretty. <laughs> oh, we're making great progress. <sighs> and it's been so easy, too. You just run all the way to the closest flame, extinguish it, and then just head on over to the edge and establish another one. Easy peasy Aww. flame altar squeezy. Okay, we're getting pretty that's, close. It's probably about time to start thinking about our way descent. to travel, Thank goodness man. we can build stairs downwards. As visually upsetting as this is. Almost there. Coming in for a landing. Visually and upsetting landing is uh, a Thank mood. Thank goodness we're finally here. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Look at these huge doors. Doors. What mysteries could this place possibly have for us? Well, there's no prompt to open the door, and I can't see a way in. Come on, can I please come in? <laughs> we can do damage to the door. Well, if history has taught me anything, if I can take hit points off something, there's a chance I can break it. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> 45 minutes of punching and later. We're in. Yeah, that didn't take any time at all. Let's go see what our prize is. Oh, certain <laughs> death is what our prize is. And it looks like there's nothing to grab, as it turns out. Well, time for a consolation prize called Break Everything We Find. Hope you all wow. had a nice dinner. Yeah, I'm looking at you. And also you. Wow. Well, that was certainly worthy of our time. Quickly, Look at back that. to the stairway. We have so many more adventures ahead Jesus of us. Jesus Christ. Oh, I totally forgot about something. I forgot that as soon as these things don't have a flame altar, structures begin to despawn, which means oh. Essentially, our oh bridge boy. is a one-way trip. To be fair, it did take a while. For that section down there to start disappearing, I was beating on that door over there for like 45 <laughs> minutes, which was like two in-game days. I still have faith in my terrible bridge and its ability to take us anywhere we want to go. Like over there. Well, shall we? I think we shall. Okay, brace yourself. We're oh so close. Well, this seems close enough. Let's do this. And huh, and coming in for a big broken landing. Ah, we did great. And just drop off the side. Whoops. Not my final landing, but it got us there. And Jesus just like that, Christ. we've skipped another bunch of puzzles. Thank God. And don't forget to break some of these priceless antiques. Imagine hating puzzles so much that you build around and outside just so you can bypass them. This is amazing while we're here. And it's not just for easily activating these towers and completely <laughs> skipping over all the work the devs did to make them. It's also great for other stuff. Like, you don't even have to worry about passing through the shroud because you can just go right over it. But we can also look <laughs> down at everything and be like, hey, you know what? That looks interesting. Why don't I go down and take a look? And then we can just aimlessly sail all the way down Jesus as we hit terminal Christ. velocity before eventually opening up our chute and squirrel suiting our way over to it. <laughs> oh, wait, did you see that? It looks like another thing where we can skip ahead. Well, let's take a look. There we go. Hello. Oh, hey, we didn't even mean to, but I think we found another person. Hey, are you in there? Wake up. I'm here to rescue you. I'm sure they're going to be thrilled. Oh, black and shroud and more like I and have skipped. a new friend for you. Yeah. How would you like a cellmate? <laughs> That's the spirit. First off, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Just give me a second. I need to sculpt the earth. And now it's summoning time. Good. Perfect. I guess you don't Hello. even have nice to meet a you. cellmate. Hold on. Don't move. We're not done yet. Can I just add this stuff right on top of you? Wow. 
Yes, yes, I sure can. Well, no sense in stopping there. This is exactly what I was hoping for. What are you wow. doing there, Slugger? Aren't you glad I woke you up? I know I feel good about this. <laughs> Oh, well, you know what? I'm getting sleepy. And look at that. It's almost dark out. Oh. About six hours. And I've got to set up a new bed. It's nothing personal. Oh, there we go. Found a spot. And place. Ah, uh, I think I'm going to like Jesus this setup. Christ. I'm sure oh our new companions God. all agree. Well, this has been all sorts of he fun. He looks and obviously so looking cozy. Out of the world, there's still plenty left to do. So let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this one. So I hope you had fun. I know I, I did. I do want to see more of Shrouded. Here, so yeah. See you next time. He's... <laughs> Why? Why the, the crunchiness at the very end? That was perfect. That was chaos. That that was actually chaos.